Ko Nichiwa, Mina Sisakuri, you're watching Pucky Cost. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PS2 game, and that is Dance Summit 2001 Bust a Move. Alright, real quick, this game is two players, up to four players with a multi tap, takes only 93k to save, and it even has a special controller made for it, which I'm going to try and get my hands on, which is pretty cool. All right, so this this game is part of the um, dance or Bust a Groove series. That's why I instantly picked it up when I was able to find it and heard about it because I just absolutely had to. So very excited and can't wait to see just how the game actually plays and if it's as evil as the previous two. Yay! <laughs> I'm scared. As always, 10 minutes to play the game first and play the game a version of Anacon Skippy thing. Let's get the timer started. Time's been started and away we go. I just have. Oh, this is going to be so crazy because the other ones are extremely hard. So it's going to be fun to see just how hard this one is if it continues on with that brutalness it has. We'll choose schoolmates. Yeah. Ah, uh, normal. Yeah. Sure. Queens High School. Okay. What do I do? Cherry Bomb is the song's name. Queens High School is the place we're doing it at. But the question is, how and what do I push? Yes, I am ready. What do I do? Besides die horribly. Ready, okay. Okay. This is really hard. But easier than the other game. You just gotta watch the thing. Yeah, it blinks. That's the beat. That's what I just gotta watch for. Oh crap. Doesn't mean it's easier than the other ones. Even though I did say that earlier. Can. 
Nice! I got an 18 combo. Uh, wow, so they even rate our team members. That's pretty cool. Next stage, something 2001. Ready. Oh crap, it actually, the song is faster. What the hell? 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 Started up. Okay. Who? Okay. That's hard. <clears throat> Still in fourth place. But I'm getting better. Whew. Okay. All right, I'm ready. It's YMCA, basically. Or not anymore.
Oops, I messed that up. Alright, so far so good. Alright. Oops! There goes my combo. Messed up. There goes the timer. We'll let it go if I can uh, at least pass the song. Okay. Oops, that was bad. Wow. That was fun. Wow. Oh, final stage two. Let me go ahead and pause that because I'm going to play that in a sec. <laughs> okay. Nice improvement on the series, I have to say. I mean, okay, so for those of you who have never played Busta Groove, Busta Groove is a battle dance game. The best way to that's the best way to describe it. So you are dancing to see who is actually the best dancer between the two that you know you choose, or when you're playing through the computer. And what happens is it will give you a combo that you have to um, that you have to play, but you got to do it on the beat. And the, the, the behind the combo, it's flashing, and you have to do it um, correctly. And what you're trying to do is continue to keep your combos going and don't stop. The more you, the the more you do, the better you become, the more complex your combos are, and the more points you get. It's not an easy game for those of us that are good at rhythm-based games but are more used to standard or, I shouldn't say standard, but, um, that are easier to do. Like, how they show it in this game, you know when the thing's going to start. They give you a nice hint of when the next thing's going to start, and then you can keep up with the beat. And the other one, you're trying to keep the beat of the music you're listening to while watching the flashing background of your combo, and you're trying to get that combo to continuously go up and get more complicated as you are playing. But due to the fact that you are relying only on that flash and listening to the beat of the music makes it more complicated to do the game. So it's definitely... Um... Notes for the faint of heart, um, rhythm based game player. So, this one is completely different on the style of how that uh, the first game is, and I love it because it simplifies it, makes it more um, nice, and the music is really good too. The music's always been fantastic. I think I I, I have the first and second game's uh, um, soundtrack downloaded. I'm gonna have to get this one too now. 
Now there is, like I said, there is a controller that is available for it. I'm, I'm hoping to get. I just have to wait to payday if I have enough after bills to be able to do it. But um, basically, to my understanding, so you got your controller, and you plug in um, motion sensor gloves, and then you use them. I I don't really understand um, how they how they work exactly, but they're they're they're. They're basically gloves you can put on your hand. And uh, one of them is square. One of them is triangle, I think. So I am... Um, it's a controller I want to get my hands on because it looks so weird and it would be fun to do a 10-minute first impressions trying out that controller because of how bizarre it is. Um... Other than that, I am thrilled to have this part of my collection. I love Bust a Groove. I am absolutely horrible at the game. But that's alright. I'm happy that the, this one is even better. So, question for all of you guys out there. Um... Do you like rhythm-based games that have a clear when you're supposed to push the button or more complicated by using flashes only as to when you're supposed to push the button? That's, I guess that's the best way to make the question out. And it's pretty clear because I've already kind of explained it. I prefer the games that are more in your face when you're supposed to do something. You know, you have um, you have several different kinds as you saw in here. You have the, you know, it, would, it will flash and change color when you're supposed to push the button so you have to keep an eye out for the rhythm. But it's very clear when you're supposed to push it. You have Hasunu Miku series with, and a lot of other series that follow that uh, style where you'll ha see the button fly over to that part of the screen then you need to push it um, to get uh, you know various scoring you have um, of course the um, guitar hero or just say yeah let's just go with the guitar hero because yeah the guitar hero ones that you know you have a line going straight up that's coming towards you that is using various ones um, guitar freak being the first one um, and, uh, you know, you have a lot of those that like to use the uh, downward line, then you have to hit it to do it. It's usually easier with the controller made for it. And then you have various other ones that use other methods that are still pretty clear, like, uh, the Oren, uh, Takan Orenden series, which has circles going down until it gets to the, um appropriate time you're supposed to push or slide or whatever in those type of games. So there's a lot of different ways that the rhythm-based games can do it. I prefer the more clear-cut ones instead of having to do with what I explained. Another good example um, is Groove Blocks. Groove Blocks is another good one that really does... Um, that type of thing. It's a puzzle-based rhythm game to where as you watch the beat with the background flashing when the beat's going on, you want to drop the pieces accordingly and as you drop them then you're able to do the different puzzles and get more points because now they're worth points as they were dropped on the beat. You know? And even Luminous is another good one that is far more clear on how you're supposed to do it than a uh, groove blocks since it has the line going over everything but you need to watch the beat as well but you're able to play it without having to really relearn how to play a game because of how difficult the beat mechanism is that's the best way to describe how i feel about it i prefer more of these ones that are like i said clear cut when you're supposed to do it, not the flashing background, which doesn't really help keep it easy. 
at all. It, it really makes you become a better rhythm bass one, more on ear than visual because the visual is not very clear. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below about what you guys think about that. And if there's any rhythm based games that you guys um, would like me to try, definitely let me know down in the comments. There are several that I am trying to eventually get in the, in the collection. And I'm gladly do some more uh, videos with rhythm based games. Because I love them, they're fun, and oh, just have just really enjoy them. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun with this one. This was a phenomenal um, surprise to see how this one works. And I am so excited to have it in the collection. As always, thank you guys for watching. This is Tisa Cruz saying ciao and sayonara.